Page, you'll see again office personnel full time. It went from 53 to uh, 54,000. Again, those are the two employees on my side. Getting into the assessors, um, you'll see. Deputy assessor did go up. Commercial, a deputy commercial assessor went up. But there was a line item of a uh, full time clerk that went down to zero. That was at 19000 less than $19,000. There's no changes on 4 two, no changes on 5, changes on 6 are just the calculations of all the expenditures that have changed. Basically, general assistance. Okay, we're getting into general assistance. The administration um, went up to $102,307 and the home relief went down to one 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 hundred. So the difference of $312 between those two. Again, uh, on page seven then, getting to full-time salaries for general assistance is $33,407, which went up $1,688. MRIF went up the six, or, I'm sorry, not a higher mark. The total gone up uh, $1,688. The same, yeah, the full time went up. Which brings the total for the administration end of general assistance up $1,688. It's all the same number. Going on to home relief, I did lower the um, water. $1,000 to $5,500. And I lowered the um, food from $15,000 uh, to $14,000. So it's a minus of $2,000. Page 9, there's no changes. Page 10, there's no changes. Page 11, this is our senior fund now. Um, the administration went down $1,000. Senior programs went up a thousand, so it's a wash. Everything stays the same. I'm just reappropriating the money. What I want to do there, I took a thousand dollars out of uh, capital improvement on page 12. That. And on the next page, page 13, I put an extra ten thousand dollars in shingle shops. Since that's such a popular program, I put uh, we originally put twenty thousand dollars in it. We've already gone through that, and I think there's still about 60 people on the waiting list for this year. So I'd like to uh, uh, get those people done. So I'm going to have $10,000 for what we should change it. Right? But I will take it out of capital improvement. So it's a wash. On page 14, that brings us to um, the original. The town fund, general town fund was at $1,560,570. We brought it down to $1,559,056. A drop of $1,514. General assistance was at $213,719. I brought it down to $213,407. Total drop of three hundred and twelve dollars. Rob, was that a, was that based on a lack of need, or just the, or the program the program didn't need the money, or, or you just needed it somewhere else? I just needed it somewhere else. 
and I was able to, we were able to work and we were able to drop some line items that we didn't think we were going to be able to. We didn't have to film. Yeah. So the whole senior fund was at $559,000, I'm sorry, $554,701. That stayed the same. All I did was take, like I said, capital improvement and put it into the shaking shots. So the whole total appropriation is uh, $2,327,164. The total drop of what was originally posted of $1,826. Uh, All right, as muddled as that was, uh, that's the budget of the changes. And now I will open it up to public hearing. I'll open the public hearing to the citizens wishing to address the board. Yes, sir. Please come up to the podium, state your name. Can everyone hear me? Okay, I guess you can. Um, I've just seen this because I couldn't find it online, but I noticed uh, one thing, uh, no signatories to this. Uh, it's the public one signed, or will this? Well, I, we, you know, the signatory page we didn't put on there, just the signatory page. So this is not signed. So it's not approved yet? Right. No, it's not approved tonight. All right, uh, I do have one question, and that concerns the $525,000 settlement for uh, the Water Commission uh, uh, settlement. Uh, I didn't see anything identified in here. It was discussed in a budget in January, and what portion of that is included here, if any, and when and how will that be paid for? That, um, actually that has nothing to do with this budget. That has to do with the water department. Uh, the settlement was with the water department, which is a completely different entity from this department. We did make the settlement of 500 and, I'm sorry, 625,000. And I think the water department did pay the first $100,000. The township uh, lent by law. We had to, the court said we had to pay off that um, $525,000, which was taken out of last year's budget, not this budget. Okay, so it's been fully accounted for at this yeah. point? Yeah. What exactly was it for? It was a lawsuit that started 15, 20 years ago. A about the actual water that, that we're drinking? Um, it was about uh, a breach of contract. It was a breach of contract. They, uh, back 20 years ago, the um, supervisor didn't feel that the company that was working in the water department was doing their job, mm -hmm. and she fired her. Right. They felt they were not fired wrongly, so they went to court, they fought for 20 years on it, and we lost. So it was a breach of contract. But the issue seems to be whether the water department reports to the board, to the Absolutely. trustees. Yeah. The question, the legal question involved seems to be whether the water uh, department reports to the board, to the township board or not, and it was determined that it does, and that's why the claim was settled. Is that correct? Or do Here we have, have a central water board? That train of thought? But I don't know that that would be a correct summarization. Well, do we have a, Carl brings up a good point. <coughs> Is there a separate water board or a separate water meeting? I mean, this should be public separate, information also. Separate water meeting. Okay. It's the third Monday of every month. Okay, just so there, it is public. It's a public here in the meeting, just like now. Is it? Is there? Is there? Are there board members um, involved? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you take minutes and everything. The trustees of the township are also the trustees of the water. Of the water. Board. So we don't put, ever have those positions up for election. I know other water boards do that. Well, that's the, there's an um, issue now that people are saying it shouldn't be the same. Some people are saying, I had a, <laughs> I did ask the, and this has nothing to do with well, I, yeah, we may be digressing. Quite honestly. Yeah. But I will answer your question. Thank you. I did ask uh, the Attorney General Office for uh, an opinion on it. She said she doesn't want to give an opinion. Go to your state's attorney. So we did uh, ask an uh, opinion of the state's attorney, and they told us it's been the same board members for ever, and they don't think it needs to be changed. Okay. Is there a charter for that board? 
Is there a charter? For a charter? Them? Yeah, some, something that establishes them, gives a mission, and how they're elected or appointed? Car honest with you, Carl, it's, since I've been here for the last, since the, the board has been established 45 years ago, whenever it was, it's always been the trustees. When I became supervisor, I kept it the same way. And when it was brought to me, you know, maybe it shouldn't be, it was always, it was right at the 11th hour of a lawsuit, and I didn't think it would be very transparent to be changing the board members. In the 11th hour of a lawsuit, now the lawsuit is settled, I'm investigating whether, and I did, I asked the opinion, now I want to know, do we need to change this board? If we do, I'm all for it. I'm not trying to figure you No, I know, this. but okay, I'm just trying to explain. That, uh, you know, but I am trying to understand what accountability the water board has to the electorate and how it has responsibility to the electorate, if it does. Right now, it sounds very vague. It's unclear, at least Again, how it's been explained. I want to get back to the budget, because this is a public hearing for the budget. What I would ask you to do is come to our water board meeting. Well, but the budget, okay, granted, the, the, the payoff, isn't reflected in this budget, it's reflected in the previous one, but it is an issue that does concern the budget, okay, because the trustees and you were responsible for having to make, apparently, a loan to the water board in order to settle right. that case, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, we so went to that is a budgetary year. concern. We last year, we went to, and, um, that's the word I'm looking for. We did, we did the budget. We uh, up, amended the budget is the word I'm looking for. You may recall that. That was, again, put in the paper. It was, uh, the budget was put online. It was uh, published. And it was on display for 30 days. And we had an open public hearing just like this on that uh, amended budget, which included the payment for the lawsuit. And it was approved. And we paid the lawsuit. That right. has nothing to do with this budget. This public hearing is for this budget. Understood. So, so I'd like to make a proposal. All right. That's it? I'd like to make a proposal that at a future meeting, all right, the business of the water board and its accountability to the public be openly discussed and some determination made as to how those members are appointed or elected and what accountability to the trustees and you, the water board has. That seems to be unclear at this point. I, I, I would also, also like to add in what the world Order, is. please, order. I would ask that you come to the water board and discuss this at the water board meeting. Because this is a water board question you're asking. Well, it doesn't because it concerns. It has nothing the, to do with this budget. It has to do with the budget that preceded this and the fact this, that the town This public hearing is for this budget. That's so avoiding, that's that's public avoiding the issue. A public right. hearing for, the, for this budget. Carl, are you that's asking it. if this money is getting paid back? No, I, that seems to that seems to be clarified through a loan, apparently, that yeah. the, the water township water. is made. Okay. Right. Now, the monies were dispor dispersed prior to this budget, is that correct? Correct. Correct. And, All right. And the water board is making a payment, a monthly payment to the town board to the town fund. Okay, is that reflected in this budget? No. Well, if it's making a monthly payment, why is it This is what we're going to spend, not what we're going to make. Uh, it's paying off the... Not dealing the with revenue, the keeping revenue year. separate. Okay. This budget is a working budget. That's what we're going to spend through the year. That's all this is. But how do you know what to spend if you don't know what you're taking in? We are taking in. <coughs> As total estimated re revenue is one million seven hundred and forty-nine thousand dollars. All right, we have to take that at face value. We can't see any. I can't tell the future. Well, I understand this, that. But you can base it on anticipated revenues right. that are fairly predictable. And that's how you come up with that. That's, that's, what that's, that's, that's what this is based on. Okay, so there are light items for determining that, I would presume. There's a line right here. One more time. Property tax, replacement tax, interest income, grants, 
CDBGs, France, other revenue, which so, comes to 1749000 So it falls under the other revenue, what the what board is paying to the township? What falls under the other revenue? What the board is paying to the township to pay off the loan, the $525,000 loan? <laughs> no, I don't know. We'd have to ask for opinion. But I'll tell you what. Well, I, 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 I don't I, know what you're getting at. Look, I'm not trying to make trouble here, but I'm trying to understand how, where the water, who the water board reports to, all right, um, and how that loan factors into that reporting structure. And if it is paying the water board reports to the water department, the people of Fairmont. All right. Hold it. What? And how is how is how is the water how does the water board have accountability to the people of Fairmont? Are they elected? Are they appointed by anyone? They're appointed by the me. Yes. I by guess. you. I would think so. Yes. Well, you, you yes. If they're appointed by the election, by the people. No. So, so you have what you already are, said, Ron. Uh, it is it is the existing board is the water board. Right. What I think might what I think might help us here to move on. Maybe for the future, it might be a good idea to have on the regular agenda a report of the monthly, so that way people don't have to make two meetings. I mean, because in a sense, if you guys are the water board, you should have some kind of point, uh, uh, some kind of something on your agenda monthly that says, "Okay, this is what we took in. This is what we're paying out." See, so now you're asking us to go to two different meetings. Right. Sure. Good point. And we've already, it's already a process. Um, like we said, it was brought up prior to the election about should the trustees be on the water board. And that's being looked into right now by attorneys and such to try to get an opinion. As far as two meetings, we've also discussed that. Maybe move it to one night, have both the meetings on one night. So, appreciate so, the so suggestion, but all, all that's being worked on right now. Good. One other possible suggestion is that the chairman of the water board sit in on these meetings, just as the highway commissioner often does. Okay, the, the, the Ron said though, the, the water board is exactly the same as the township board at this point. The chairman chair probably. So Ron would be the supervisor of this board as the chairman of the other board or supervisor. So, if that needs to be changed since it was brought to the attention, you know, it'll be changed. But it, it's going to take a, an opinion from an attorney to tell us and, and explain to us how we're going to do that. Do we appoint people from the Fairmont District since it's their water department? And do they just take over totally and run it as far as like the bills, the water service, the, the problems, the utility board? So there's a lot of questions we have right now that we don't know the answer to. I do know in some of the other areas that have uh, much of the same scenario as we do in Fairmont. They have actually water elections and they have board, they do run their own sure. bills and, and their administration. Right. Obviously we'd be, if there was anything to come about this, we'd be so ground floor. But this may be something really good for a workshop to work maybe not for in the next year, but within the next cycle, maybe we can have something together to move forward because I think there's a very good point here. If, if it's all the same and we're not getting a monthly readout, nobody's getting no information, and that's Ron. You don't want that. We don't want that. And I, I will um, tell you this: we do have a water board meeting that we run just like this. And all the water, we try to keep the water separate from the township since no monies in the township enter into the uh, water board, and no water goes into the town except for the lawsuit that we're forced to do. Before that, all the it was determined that the board does report to well, that, the township. And that's what I, that's what I know that in, that in other areas, the president of the water board actually goes to the meeting and makes a report each month. That's the point is that, so that way people come to one meeting and they can get all the information. That's, I think, I think you hit the nail on that. The township would never have made that loan, all right, if it hadn't been determined by a court that the water board reports to the township. But again, we're getting away from the topic of this budget. And we have but it's all about money, which is about right the budget. Now, okay, I, nobody else I see some this is. speak on the budget because you're talking about the water. Anybody Work needs to be done in that area. Please come up and state your name. I want to speak to the budget. I want to speak to the budget. 
speak to the budget. Not the water board. My name is Michael Fuller, and I live in Lockport Township. I've talked to you many times about this office of the collector. It has no business, it has no job, and for years I've been told that it costs, uh, we budget $5,000 for the collector and $1,000 for his office expenses, for a job that doesn't exist. Now I see that the new budget has $800 for the collector. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened to the $6,000 that was spent before? It was never spent. So we lowered that light item to 800 because the new ordinance does state that the collector is going to get $50 per meeting to come to. Well, he's not here to die. Well, he's not going to be paid. And it doesn't take effect until January because that's when the new effect is. The new the collector also is just like the, the assessor's office. It doesn't take office until January. So I, object to I object to $800. What's that? I object to the $800. Now that's your opinion? No, reason. All right. I did a little surveys today in a couple of weeks, and uh, there are no collectors in eight of the townships in our county. Uh, another eight of them get no pay. In fact, one collector in uh, DuPage Township gets to $100 a meeting, but she said the office ought to be abandoned. It should be done away with. Yeah, that's her opinion. No. I have no understanding what the collector does, because you've never been able to tell me that a collector does anything, but it's supposed to be the ears or something of the community. Now, if the, the collector had a job, but all of our taxes go directly to Will County. There is no reason to have a collector and no reason to pay them. It's a state statute. It is a state statute that we have a collector. It is not necessary to have a collector. Yeah. By state law, it's not necessary. Only five counties. And if that were the law, how come the rest of the townships don't have to have one? It's a petty thing, I know. But it irks me. It irks me a lot that you've done this. Eleven years I've lived in Lockport Township. That's sixty-six thousand dollars that's been collected from the taxpayers of this township for a job that doesn't exist. It's never been paid. Sixty-six thousand dollars. When you budget, when you budget it, I don't care where it goes. When you budget it, it's spent. But nobody collects it. Again, that is I, Look, I work in public service long enough to know that when it's budgeted, it's spent. I will. I don't know what I can do to make you believe that we don't spend that money. Now we haven't spent. Then where did it go? There's nothing I can do. I tried to explain it to you. I showed you. I you have never have told me. To you you have yet to tell, tell me where it goes. If you know where it goes, right here, beginning balance March. First, 2017, $1,400,000. Then you are collecting taxes. That's where it went. You are collecting taxes from the top to people in this township that do not need to be collected. Well, that's your opinion. No, it's, I think it's, it's your opinion. Why is it my opinion? It's just it's obvious, obvious that you do not need that money. You shouldn't charge the taxpayers of our township to, to, collect, to have it. It's not yours. No, it's not. That's why we're. Approving a budget. That's why and, we, you want And to I don't think you ought to have that eight hundred dollars in there. Nor did I ever think you should have that five, six, six thousand dollars in there. Your spats. No, it's not my opinion. It's a matter of it's, not, it's, it's a matter of honesty. I don't know what I can do to make you see that we don't spend the money. I mean, I don't know what I. Can. It's, it's, it's still a matter. Of, you don't have any right to that money. Thank you for your opinion. Yes. It's not my opinion. Well, thank you for speaking. I, I don't know what else. Can I ask a question about what happens with that money if it's not specifically allocated? You said it goes to the top line. Is that correct? And you're it's sitting there. Which essentially <laughs> translates to the general fund. It can be everything, everything that we don't spend in this budget, 
will be saved into next year's. I can't tell you exactly what pennies we're going to spend. This is a good guess. This is a working, working budget. I have $150,000 in projects. I don't know if I'm going to have $150,000 in projects this year. I'm going to do some projects that I think are important to this township, like putting a generator in. I have to put a garbage enclosure, enclosure in. I have to read uh, sod and get the grass put in. Those are the projects we're going to be doing. Is it going to be $150,000 worth? I don't know. But if we don't spend $150,000 and we only spend $130,000, that's $20,000 that won't be spent. It'll go into next year's. Instead of $1,600,000, it'll be $1,630,000. My experience. Why don't you take the $800 out of the budget? It doesn't need to be there. Because by ordinance, we are going to pay. Yes, we are. By the don't tell me no. We, we passed an ordinance in public, <laughs> in a public meeting, saying the collector is going to get fifty dollars. Now, how am I going to pay that fifty dollars if we don't take yeah, don't have the money in the budget? So, yes. by public ordinance, it could be rescinded. Rescinded. It had to be one hundred and eighty days before the election. Understood. Yeah, right. it can't, be it can't be changed until one hundred and eighty days before the next time. Well, let me ask. Let me pose one more question. You, it, it goes to the top line, and I get that. I understand whatever you don't spend in one category goes into the budget line. But at the end of the year, does that go to a tax rebate back to the taxpayers, or you're saying that that additional money just gets forwarded to next year's budget? So does that mean in the following year we would be asking for less money from the taxpayers because we already have that money? So that is the standard. You'll see that our, your tax bill went down, didn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's the standard formula that you guys do when, when this type of... We were, for years, we didn't always lower the tax bill. We always tried to when we could, but we were saving for a, a major project that we did and now we're done with. Right. So now I'm going to start trying to keep the budget in line. But again, we did lower the budget the last two years, our tax rate the last two years, and your tax rate did go down the last two years for my whole time. I believe, you see, I, I'm very proud of what we've done with this board, that we were able to lower your tax rate, stay with the kids, stay up, stay in the flat, and produce a beautiful building like this. With that, um, I, is there anybody else that would like to speak? I want to speak a little more. I'm sorry, you don't. Your, I'm not out of order. Yes, you are out of order. Well, sir. I'm not. Yes, you are. Because I'll, you ask you be, I'll ask you to have you removed. I have to. <laughs> Then what are we here for? This is not an ordinance, this is a budget. And you're not going to change it? It's up to this board. Any other questions? Any other statements? Yes, ma'am. Please come up to stage again. Township, and I've been talking with your highway uh, department about putting up more horse signs. Uh, you have to become very aware that the horse community is increasing substantially, and so many of the roads are used as trails that lead to the actual county managed trail system. And so, what happens, you see cars going too fast. It may be posted 25 miles an hour, but on weekends you'll see dozens of people riding. And so I talked to your highway person about getting up more horse trail signs, so they should be on uh, Bruce, Oak, Roseland, and then coordinating with Will County about going up and down Bridge Street as well. So I think that's another important safety factor that you need to plug into your budget because each sign is, I don't know, 35 or 50 bucks. I will, I will ask you right there. This, is, this budget has nothing to do with the highway. The highway's budget, oh, public hearing. I'm sorry, wait, let me finish. But the budget for the highway department 
We'll have a public hearing on the 18th of this month. That's when he's going to be going through his budget. And if that, that's the time to bring those questions up to the highway department. This has nothing to do with the, the roads or the, anything like that. This is just the town senior GA fund. The highway fund wasn't published in time to take care of it tonight. It's going to have a public hearing on May 18th. Another separate hearing. So for every function that you have, why not have all the hearings or all of manage have one management center so people can go and find Yeah, we have to go by ordinance. We have to go by the law. But you can also change the law. <laughs> With the law stating that um, you have to have it published and it has to be on display for 30 days. Our highway department didn't have his budget ready in time to get it published in time to have the public hearing tonight. But they would have done it if that would have been done. That is something you have to talk to the highway department. I have no control over that. Okay, thank you. <coughs> All right. the horses. Anybody else? Yes, Carl. Again, this will be the last time. I mean, you can't keep on getting up here. Every person is allowed three minutes. And you've gone by far over your three minutes. So go ahead, please. Well, some of that was yours, to be honest. But. I'll make it short. All right. An ordinance was passed some time ago to collect money specifically for a senior center that ultimately was used to purchase this facility. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Do the taxes that are that were collected under that ordinance do they still continue to be collected, even though this building is now completely paid for? All right, from those revenues that have been collected over the many years. All right. Does that ordinance still remain in effect? Are, are taxes still being collected for a facility that the township already now owns? Those taxes were uh, put in force by a referendum that the seniors and all public voted for it and passed. So yes, it does still. Our senior funds still. Right. So we're we're continuing to be taxed even though this facility is fully paid for. Is that it's correct? Not it's not just for this facility. It's for all senior programs. So if we cut out the senior, if we did cut out the senior uh, tax right now and completely got rid of it, the buses would have to stop. We would pay for the buses. Okay. I just needed a point of clarification. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, if there's, if there's any other statements, I will ask for a motion to adjourn the public hearing. I'll make a motion. I got a motion by a powerful voice. Second. Okay. Second by D. Uh, all in favor? <coughs> Opposed? Motion. Ayes have. Thank you very much, everybody.